Hey everyone, quick tutorial on the Nordrum 3P and the Max for Life patch I wrote for um, controlling the Nordrum 3P via Ableton Live. So um, it's actually quite easy if you take the patch and just put it on an empty MIDI track in Ableton Live, you will have um, the chance to control the whole not drum 3p via uh, Ableton Live. So what you need to do is you need to um, make a MIDI connection to the not drum. So sending out MIDI from Ableton. I do this via a USB you know, MIDI interface. You have to set the channel to 10. That's a preset or default uh, MIDI channel where your not drum will receive those uh, messages I'm sending out now. So um, you can see that I'm sending this out. Ah, I set it on the wrong channel, so mm, make sure it's on the right channel. Let us delete this. Okay, so this is our controlling channel now, controlling track now. So um, I can pick different the different pads. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, I have to select which channel I want to or which uh, pad I want to edit. So I have a lot of presets. These are the same presets like they are stored in the Nordrum 3P. So I can select a different um, bass drum for example and now my pad number one will sound different. And I can now just quickly change all those parameters really easy. Can do select something for the second pad and I can use my keyboard arrows as well to cycle through those presets here and now I can really easy just change stuff um, in Ableton Live and it will be sent to the Nordrum 3P so that's how easy it's um, to use this. So um, there are a few ways how you can uh, set up those different pads here for example. So for example you could have one master track and then have more um, 3P editor um, on several tracks and then just select the different pad numbers so you can access, access them at once or you could just uh, create more MIDI tracks and then set the MIDI channels to the channels of those pads. So let's do this so it's clear what I'm talking about. So let's insert some MIDI tracks. Let's um, create about six because we got six pads and six channels. And let's move this master channel to the back. Um, put it to no output. And now we can select for all of those the ins from our track where we got the device on. So we just gonna get all those in here. And now we can set those channels right to channel one, channel two. So this would be the second, channel three. Channel 4, Channel 5, and Channel 6. Okay, so let's arm all those tracks. And what's going to happen now is that we can actually um, have all those pads um, changing. So if I pick a preset here now, it's all being sent to all pads at the same time. So um, what else? Yeah, I can obviously save some user presets here. This is going to be an external file. So um, I can save those things here, which I maybe found. Let us just put in some random stuff here. That sounds nice. So let's save this on the first. So we have to go to store and then we get a red dot in here and we can select uh, 24 fields here. So if we want to save something else on uh, yeah, the 6, that's sounding nice as well. So let's store this and now we just can go back and forth by selecting 
those different presets. Okay, I can cycle through those presets here as well if I want to. So, um, and that brings me to the next uh, point. Oh, hang on one second. I can write those user presets as an external file and I have to open those external files if I want to, um, if I want to use the user presets again. The good thing is you can access those presets from anywhere. Um, so uh, you can just load them, store them in the folder on your desktop or somewhere, and then you can just open them and voila, they are there. Okay, so MIDI mapping. So the, go the cool thing about this editor is as well that you can access all those parameters um, via MIDI. So you can have an external MIDI controller. I have the FCB 1010 here so let's go into the midi map menu and let's pick the uh, noise level here so i can now um, control the noise level uh, with my foot So I can use external MIDI hardware, but of course I could use just a clip and write stuff in this envelope here. So um, that's really nice because I can have automation here, uh, MIDI dummy clips, which are doing an automation, or they could change presets of course as well. So if we're going to keep this running. This automation is being sent to this knob let's have a look again so just that you can see I have this automation here now stored in this clip okay one more thing I want to show you we have some or I added some um, randomness in the version 1.2 or up from version 1.2 there is this uh, noise um, and tone and one button here for the click which will affect the click and the distortion and the EQ so let's start with the noise so we have uh, this sound here and I can click on it and it will change all the parameters just not the level for the noise so the same with the tone And for the click, the distortion and the EQ as well. Very interesting. Of course, I can MIDI map those uh, buttons here as well. So for example, uh, let's pick just something down here. And now when I'm pressing um, on this uh, FCB 1010 on the number four, you can see all those parameters are changing. Uh, it didn't affect the tone. Let's do this again. No. And all those parameters are changing when I'm hitting the four. pretty heavy so um, of course you can do them separate uh, maybe <laughs> um, so you get better results but um, this is a really quick way to find new sounds on your Nordrum 3P. Okay so there is a second device for the whole um, reverb and delay section so um, same here again you have to pick the right uh, MIDI connection channel 10 and then you can select the different pads again if you want to um, or you can set up multiple MIDI tracks where you route the MIDI information to and set the channels right so you can send them to all of the pads or to some of the pads at the same time so um, this works the same so um, pad number one and now I can put in the amount of the reverb Or of the delay and I can as well um, MIDI map those parameters as well again to 
um, external MIDI control or to set up clips if I want to so now I can play really dynamically. I can um, store user presets here again and cycle through those user presets as well. Okay, so when I'm sometimes changing, so for example, I change stuff on here and I now go to a different pad, um, not all of those parameters are automatically being sent. So listen, if I'm now on pad one, I got this massive reverb and delay and when I'm now going to pad 2, it's not happening, the same is not happening here. So I can, if I want the same on all those um, parameters on channel 2 or pad number 2, I have to press the send all button and now all those parameters are being sent to the pad 2, to the selected pad. to the third pad, number four, sounding like this before, now I send all the parameters there, number five, and I still have the foot control on the reverb. Okay, so have fun playing and um, Let's see you at abledrama.com. Uh, check out our Facebook group. If you have any more questions, just post stuff in there and I will respond or someone else will respond. Take care.